this is the big uh, storm. It says that uh, 15 to 23 broke in at 5,000. When Dr. Lewis talks about the weather, you can bet that the meteorology is behind every word he's saying. I think he was perhaps uh, the sort of individual in the department we sometimes refer to as a weather nut. He has a tremendous passion for weather. It's almost like an addiction. As addictions go, I guess it's one of the cleaner ones. I was born in Cottonwood, Arizona. And when we were in the fourth grade, we moved to White River, Arizona on the White Mountain Apache Reservation. He grew up in a sparsely populated region of southeastern Arizona. I grew up with Apaches. We fished and fished. He's a sportsman at heart. Taught my son how to hunt. He's a good hunter, doesn't like to hunt because I took him so much when he was little, but he knows how. Although I'm not a hunter, I enjoy venison. So I've always benefited from his hunting. The venison makes an excellent chili especially if you go hunt them in the Midwest. I first met Fred in 1972, more than 40 years ago. Fred already had a bachelor's degree in physics from the University of Arizona. He had just joined the Air Force and they wanted to have him specialize in weather. The officers who are part of that Air Weather Service need to be trained in fundamentals of meteorology. He already had a bachelor's degree, so he ended up taking nine months of meteorology. The University of Utah was a choice, or New York City. Obviously, I picked the University of Utah, the best choice I ever made, met my wife there. Got a great education, met uh, Pagels, Dr. Jan and Julia Pagel, Dr. Gao. He impressed me at the time as being uncommonly uh, quick and intelligent, energetic, enthusiastic. What I learned there set me in a good stead to go off to learn about computer programs at Offutt Air Force Base. And in three years after being there, went back to Utah the Air Force sent him back to do a doctoral thesis. When I went back to the University of Utah, I knew how to program computers and was very interested in numerical weather prediction. He singly generated a model which was as complete as any model run elsewhere at that time around the globe. And he was one person doing it. In these other locations, like UCLA, Goddard Institute, there were teams of, of scientists and computer programmers doing it, but he did it by himself. No one has ever done a doctoral thesis under my direction more quickly. I think he was truly exceptional. The education I got there was spot on for going and supporting operational weather forecasts in the Air Force. I just can't uh, thank the university enough. I mean, if you want to go to university, go to the University of Utah. <laughs> Fred graduated with that doctorate in 1979 and uh, went back full-time into the Air Force. I went to the Air Force for my four years. It ended up staying for 29 the first time and went back for another eight years as a civilian. Dr. Lewis was a weather officer. Weather is tied to almost everything the Air Force does. It's very important that you get your forecast right. I remember we would get a satellite picture every day at about 11 o'clock, and it was like pure gold. And we'd talk about it, make tomorrow's forecast. You have to have the sort of awareness and training that someone like Fred and his colleagues bring to that in order to be able to interpret forecasts. What separates him from many is his drive, his motivation. There's nothing that Fred did that wasn't without enormous passion and enthusiasm and energy. He is a tireless worker. I had the opportunity to get promoted, and I was promoted to Brigadier General, which, you know, as my mother-in-law said, she was amazed. To achieve that level, uh, the number one position is, is absolutely huge. The fact that Fred has been at the peak of that for all the decision-making, that's, that's quite an accomplishment. He is the number one weather person in the Air Force. My job title is Director of Weather, which I have to explain to the three stars, I really didn't direct the weather. I couldn't change it. Only the good Lord can change it. I predict I'm in sales and the good Lord is in production. Fred is a self-made person. I just feel fortunate to have interacted with him. He is very focused on what really matters and, and everything else is just noise. Dr. Lewis retired and he's working for IPS Meteostar. What we do is high-end weather software 
and we maintain it and we sell that weather software internationally. NASA is one of their customers. They sell weather forecasting systems um, to different entities and companies. The bottom line is accurate weather forecasts do save lives and they do make a difference.